Um, is that necessary? No, it's not necessary. Let's go. I hate when I tell him something, he don't listen. That's what I thought. Hey, you okay? Okay. You hungry? Dad. Okay, we're gonna get you some food. Get food. What do you want to eat? Get a big, get a biscuit. You want a biscuit? Yes. Okay, we'll get you a biscuit then. So we made it to our location. We're at Daisy Boots. <laughs> It's a really, really good place to actually eat and come for breakfast. Prior to kids, we used to come here all the time, so. I'm gonna walk the potty. You gotta go potty? Okay, let's go potty. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go potty. Peyton Henderson. <laughs> No, no, don't touch it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Y'all ready? I need a minute. Um, we know what we want. Okay. I want the French toast. <laughs> um, any meat? Yes, I want to do. Whatever you like, babe. Bacon and scrambled eggs. And um, so you want two eggs? Yes, please. And um, sausage. How many? French toast do you get? Is it four you get three or six? pieces of toast, button hash, and six pieces. That's perfect. It's fine. Okay. Is it good? Yes. Good morning. Reporting live from my messy, messy house. Kaden back there. This is how he likes to lay, y'all. <laughs> That's how my boss likes to lay in his, his little mama room. You wear something else. So today is going to be a day full of cleaning because as you can see, my house is a mess, okay? Don't look too close. Normally I like to clean in the morning time when E.T. and P. are at school. Most of the mess comes for Peyton, like real talk. He's a toddler, he does his thing, and it is what it is. Elliot hates it, but I have come to understand as a mother of a toddler, this is gonna happen. They're not perfect, they're children. And yeah, so I'm gonna clean up. I literally like to scrub down my house. I like to bleach everything, sweep everything, dust, pick up trash, this, that, that, and other. I don't really know what else to really film. My whole idea of filming and having this vlog channel is not to like show you, hey, this is my household, this is what we're doing. Like, I don't wanna really do that. I wanna show you guys the fun activities, the festivals, just different things to do in New Orleans and different foods and restaurants. That's what I like showing you guys. Unfortunately, it was a very, very nasty weekend. Um, hold on one second. Let me cut some light on in here because your girl looking a little too dark. I think that's good. This camera does pretty good. There we go, that's a little bit better. But yeah, it was a bad weekend. The weather was nasty and it's unfortunate because we didn't get to go do anything. I think the Strawberry Festival happened this weekend and I wanted to take you guys out there to Ponchatoula and show y'all like how that goes down. But yeah, it is what it is. And then it was Super Sunday yesterday. I could have took you guys downtown with me and showed you guys the Mardi Gras Indians and stuff like that. But again, the weather was nasty. It was a little cold, it was a little wet and just yucky. Like I don't mind it raining. Like I love a good rain day, but I prefer it when it's not something it's not happening when I want to do something. Look at my edges, bruh. A mess. Let me cover that. <laughs> the whole purpose for me buying this camera, or Elliot buying this camera for me, was so that I can have good picture quality and our vlogs can be popping. But our vlogs can be popping if the quality ain't good. Go, Pokes. <laughs>
I hate this fan. I hate everything in this house with gold. What is this called again? <laughs> this is a fixture, I think. Whatever, I hate it all. They all have gold trimming. The previous owners love gold and it's just that ugly gold too. It's not like a rich gold, it's like El Cheapo gold. So what we did when we moved into this house, we did a lot of DIY projects. One of our biggest projects, which I actually have this on my main channel, is we stained our kitchen cabinets. They were this ugly wood shaped color, hated it. So we did a gel stain and we ended up staining the entire cabinet. I'm planning on redoing all of this as far as moving stuff around, repainting this room. Cause when we put this up on a market, I wanna make sure that it's like, you know, a-okay. Cause when it goes back on market, you wanna make sure you get the biggest bang for your fuck. So by now you guys probably noticed I am <clears throat> home. Kaden, gonna put Kaden down for another nap. But oh, I'm home. The day has gone by. I cleaned up a little bit. I took a break and I'm gonna get back to it tomorrow. I was just recently watching um, The Williams Way. I actually enjoy the vlog channel. There's like a couple of vlog channels that I truly like to watch and I truly hey. enjoy for the positivity. Like, I don't like to watch YouTubers act out, act the ass. Fighting, drama, cheating, all of that. Like, I don't like all of that. That's just too much. And it's some stuff you just don't have to show to the world. And I like the fact that they show like a lot of positivity. Can you see? Shout out to them. Like, I truly, truly, truly enjoy watching this channel. Very positive. But um, yeah, just to check them out if you haven't done so already. I'm gonna pause them for now. So I can try to put Caden down because he is like, he was tripping out on me. You good? You good, Shook? <laughs> are you good are you good watch here come your brother you saying cheese okay so, I think I talk you don't need to stick your tongue out you got stuff all over your face that's where's your tongue oh where your teeth where your nose your eyes. Ah. Your eyes. Where's your left hand? Where's your right hand? You so smart. <laughs> My poor baby's little pillow needs to be washed. It is so gross looking. Like he has formula stains all over it. He must have had one heck of a night last night because it is a mess. This particular pillow though, I kind of wanted to do a review on it anyway for you guys. But what this pillow does is it rounds out your child's head. It is designed to actually round out your child's head. So as you can see, it's kind of like indented right here. And then what happens is your little one lays here and it kind of supports those pressure points, I guess you can say, and rounds the head out without leaving it flat. Cause you know, once the kid's head is flat, you have to actually um, go to a head specialist and then they recommend getting them helmets, which those helmets can run like two grand and up. So yeah, this was something that was pretty beneficial. And I think Elliot paid probably like 20 bucks, probably less than that for this. At four months, Kaden was weighing 19 and a half pounds. So roughly 20 pounds. And he was at four months, fitting nine months, 12 month clothing. The crazy thing about this, Kaden's head started to flatten on the back. And nobody, none of us noticed it until, I take it back, none of us actually knew about it until I noticed it one day when I was home with him and I could tell like his back of his head was just flatter than normal. It also kind of protruded a little bit on top. So it made me a little nervous and I actually reached out to my mom because he was with my mom a lot. So I was like, hey, did you notice his head's round? And not Ronnie, you noticed his head was getting flatter. She didn't have a clue. Then I talked to Elliot about it. He didn't have a clue. And then I took it to our pediatrician and mentioned it to her. And she said it's something that commonly, ow, kid, it hurts when you do that. They still got a tight in the back. But she mentioned that this particular, um, this, this, ow, 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 jeez Louise, little boy, let go. She mentioned that them having a flat head is very, very common when they're, especially with the weight, um, but it's very common. And so Elliot did some more research. He decided to pur uh, purchase this 
pillow, which is a little nasty. I'm gonna wash it though, y'all. Don't look at it. But I want you guys to see the particular pillow I'm referring to. And I'll leave all the information about it down below. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this because this pillow was roughly like 20 bucks or so. And in the long run, it's gonna save us two plus a grand. You know? So insurance don't cover helmets for the kids' heads, heads to round them out. Um, unfortunately, it is a cosmetic and it's not something that is actually a need. Not unless, I think she said, not unless it was like, oh Jesus, that hurt. <laughs> not unless it was some type of medical issue um, where it was affecting the child's brain. But for the most part, it is very common. Thank you, greatly appreciate it. It was very common for this to occur. And so yeah, Elliot ah. found this pillow and it's amazing how much his head has changed in the last month. It has rounded out. I really didn't do no before and after clips. It's not something I don't think it's really needed, but definitely, definitely, definitely check out this pillow if you are going to have any type of kids anytime soon. Um, you can start using this as early as day one of their life. So FYI, if you wanna know about that, I'll leave all the information down below for this because the first time around our kid, Peyton wasn't like this. Our first child, he wasn't overweight, he wasn't big, he wasn't heavy. Um, Kate, on the other hand, he is a little macho man. Like this kid literally right now is wearing 12 month clothing. Sometimes he can fit a two t-shirt. So it's funny to see the difference between your kids. Like I had one child who was tiny and petite and who was breastfed. And then I have another kid who is macho man and on formula. So he's pretty hefty, he's pretty big. But I definitely wanted you guys to check out this pillow. I love sharing like mommy tips and mommy stuff with you guys because I know, especially with my first child, I had no clue what the hell was going on or what things I needed. I'm a linebacker. Don't run by me, boy. <laughs> you so cute, Caden Bear. You so cute. I think we're gonna close out the vlog today right now because Ellie is on his way home and I know he might be a little tired so I'm gonna just close out for now today just in case. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna continue vlogging tonight. I keep forgetting. But that is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. So I'm bye Pete. Bye No, no, don't <laughs> say. You're Pete, there you go. I'm gonna say you're Pete so just say bye. Bye. Okay, see you guys later, bye. bye.